guys what is up this is grow every day so i see that nb miner has a much better ethereum hash rate lhr removal thingy people say it gets up to 74 percent and it's supposed to be nice and stable so stability is what i was looking for before i went over to it i am going to try it out here are some baseline numbers so this is my rig with the full shebang of the LHR cards. I got the 3080 Ti, 3080, 3070 Ti, 3070, 3060 Ti, and a 3060. This rig is doing 232.5 mega hash on Kapow. This is doing Raven right now. I'm all about that Raven. I wanna stack as much of it as I possibly can before the halving, but I am thinking of putting a little bit back onto Ethereum if these LHR unlocks are working awesome. Here are just some, um, just the stock settings, clocks, whatever. This is just like the baseline data to kind of compare it against. We'll have to run some calculators on this. So this particular rig, 232.5, it is at the software. So I hear that the software on the LHR unlock isn't great, but we'll see. We'll see about these temperatures. We'll see how they do. But this thing's using, you know, 1.35 kilowatts probably with the motherboard. That's that rig. I'm going to swap this one over. And my other rig that I want to play with as well is on SMOS. This is my 7x3080 Ti. So this particular one is doing 413 mega hash on Raven as well. This is the big boy rig. This one card does not perform as well as the others, but they all do pretty good. Look at that, 59.2, 58s, 59s, 58, 57. This one bounces around a lot. I don't know what's up with that card. I probably need to repad it, but the rig does really good. Here is what I have, 2150, 2000, 2100 for memory, zero core, power limiter all at 325, 330. I'll have to swap these over for Ethereum. So this is just the baseline, getting it, get an idea what I need to compare it against when I move this over to Ethereum with NB Miner. Hey everybody, and a happy Halloween to you. Today is October 31. So I've had these rigs running on NB Miner for, I don't know how long it's been, since yesterday anyways, just about 24 hours, not quite, maybe 20 hours. Let them stabilize out. Here is the live data on my 7x3080 Ti rig. So you can see here, these are all running about 85 mega hash. Total, here's the total, 596.8, 597. Sometimes it jumps up to about, there you go. Just jumps around a little bit, gets close to 598 mega hash. This one's on Simple Miner. So a lot of guys online were getting 88, 89, 90 mega hash. I wasn't able to do that. This is kind of where it stabilized out. I tried increasing the clocks and the rig would crash. Here's what I'm running at. Core megahertz, negative 300 for all of them. And then the memory, I tried upping them all a little bit and the rig crashed. So I put it back to the settings that I found worked for Raven which was anywhere from plus 2000 to plus 2180, depending on the card. Some cards could take more, some cards could take less, and a power limit of 305 watts. So this is software power. I'm not sure what the actual cards are using because I don't have a power meter. But there is the settings for that, and it has been pretty stable doing that. If we look here at the pool, current 601, average 580 so it's reporting an average of 580 at the pool and the software is reporting this is bang on for the software is reporting 597.3 so those aren't too far off from each other so i just threw this into a little spreadsheet right here so this is the full rtx 3080 ti by seven this is what it was doing on raven 412 here's what's doing on ethereum so, and then this is the cards in that rig are averaging. If we say it's doing five, it's actually not quite doing that. 
it's like 59.7.5. That doesn't make a difference. So if we say that all seven cards here are averaging that across the whole rig, they're all doing about 58.8 on Ethereum. That's what they're doing. Sorry, that's 58.8 based on 412 Raven. Anyways, we will go over here. We'll check out this other card here. So here is the full 30 series. we got a 3080 tie. Oops, I said tie. I'm going to get murdered in the comments. we got a 3080 Ti, 3080, 3070 Ti, 3070, 3060 Ti, and a 3060 in this rig. Here are the hash rates. So with this same, in fact, this core is zero. It's a negative 300 in the other, I just realized. So roughly the same settings on here, on Hive, same card, EVGA, FTW3 model. I'm only able to get 82.8. This is quite a bit slower than the one on Hive, which is interesting. Here's a 3080, right around 70. Also interesting. This is supposed to be 74% unlock, and I'm getting 70. So this is actually like a 70% unlock. These clocks are the exact same that I use on a non-LHR card, and they get 100. So if this is a non-LHR card with these settings, this would be doing 100 on Ethereum. So this is actually a 70% unlock and not a 74% unlock. Plus, it's a little, you know, it's a little unstable, bounces around a little bit. So based on that, I have zero confidence calling this a 74% unlock. I'd call it more like a 66% probably, if you consider the bouncing around that it does. So 3070 Ti, I've got 55 mega hash. 3070, I got 44. This will move a lot. This will go from like 39, anywhere from 39 to 44. Look at these temperatures, 30 degrees. It is really cold outside right now. It is early in the morning, and I have a window open blowing cold air into that room. My computers love it. 30 degrees. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. Back to the 3060 Ti. We got 42.5, 3060, 33.8. So these, I don't know what your numbers stack up at, but I'm not really liking these that much. I filled with some of these clocks a little bit last night, but it's just, it isn't stable. This... This bounces around. That's the key, right? Is stability. Oh, here's something interesting. Well, I guess that's the 3070 uses less wattage than the 3060 Ti. So these these settings, there might be some room for improvement in here for some of these. I think that like the 3070 is is good and the 3080 is good because that's what I run on non LHR cards. So those should be those should be good. The others there might be some room for improvement, but they're, I'm not really happy with what I'm seeing. And this bounces around a lot. Like if I refresh this, I bet you it's going to move. So that's 3070 Ti. Okay, they all went up a little tiny bit, but they move around a bit. It's relatively the same. I've got the shell right here. I'll see what the live numbers are. See, here you go. LHR lock detected. 1.2 minutes since last lock. So that, like it's detecting it every now and then. Every time it detects it, it slows down. And then has to speed back up. So while the hash looks like it's like 80-ish, or whatever, 85, whatever it ends up being, it it's bouncing around. As soon as it detects that lock, it goes lower, and then it comes higher, and then lower, and then higher. So it's not actually this big magical number that you see all the time because it does still bounce around so it's not super stable here's this again here see like it's showing 67 because it detected that lock so I don't know if you average in the time at 67 versus 85 but here you see there's a good device zero lock detected I don't know what's going on here half a minute since last lock it uh, that that card does not seem to want to work on Hive. It works way better on Simple Miner. We'll jump over here to the full 30 series at the pool. Current 275, average 287, reported 322. So that average is super low. 
No, I'm actually going to put this in here. So here is the kind of the just Excel document that I'd just made, kind of highlighting everything. Here's there's all the cards there. Here are the Raven hash rates, Ethereum hash rates. So let's just put these numbers into a calculator and see what we come up with. So if you go by the pool data, this is pretty good. There's a two, $2 difference between the average pool compared to the software. So this full RTX 30 in the so in the pool is reporting quite a bit lower than the software. This one's not as far off because it's a faster rig and it's only out by 17 hashes for a faster rig. Whereas the slower <clears throat> the slower rig is out by like 40 hashes. That's pretty significant. If you look here though, this 3080 Ti by 7 rig is pulling in 5123 US a day on Raven. Or on this Ethereum NV miner unlock, 4370. That's a pretty significant difference. You got there like seven, eight dollars. It's like sixteen percent difference, I guess. My math might be right out. It's a big difference. If you base this on the miner numbers, like the, the software numbers, this is out by quite a bit as well. Five dollar difference per day. If you base it on the pool numbers versus software, I don't have the pool numbers for this year. I should have recorded those, but I didn't. It is even bigger. Look at the difference here. That's huge. So is the Ethereum unlock there yet? This NV miner one? I don't think so. I was pretty excited to try this out. I was hoping to get some more Ethereum. But I think after running it for one day, that's enough. I'm, mov I'm moving back to Raven. It is significantly more profitable on Raven right now by quite a bit. I thought that this would be close, but it is not close. Of course, Raven uses a little bit more power, right? So this will be using a little bit more power than Ethereum, but to make up that difference, it is not making, it's not using that much more power. And the, your, your final numbers are gonna be fairly negligible. So Raven is still the winner. Keeping my rigs on Raven. Gonna stack those things until the having comes. Let me know what you guys are doing. Are you guys doing the NB Miner so called 74% unlock? Which I think is closer to a probably 68% unlock, all things considered. Or are you mining something else? Ergo, Conflux, Raven, Dogecoin, whatever that Shiba coin is. Who knows? I'm sticking with Raven. I'm putting my money in the Raven basket for now until that having. Hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you guys think. We'll talk to you later.